Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Kim and today I am bringing you a zero point butternut squash soup. I found out about this soup in my meeting two weeks ago and I knew I had to try it. So I totally cheated and I bought the peeled and cut butternut squash at Trader Joe's. You can buy a whole butternut squash and what my leader does is she pokes holes in it with a fork and she puts it in the microwave for 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes, she takes it out, lets it cool, and peels it and cuts it. So you can do that. And so it's gonna be butternut squash, one onion, I got a sweet Vidalia onion, one apple, this is a honey crisp apple, and it calls for nutmeg, which I don't have nutmeg, but pumpkin pie spice has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice. So I thought that would be totally cool to put in and it calls for 32 ounces of chicken broth and I got this fat free, free range chicken broth from Trader Joe's. So this recipe can be made on the, on the I was gonna say on the desktop, <laughs> on the stove top, um, but I am actually gonna be putting it in my crock pot and gonna let it simmer all day. So I'm gonna chop up the onion and apple and I will show you once I get everything in the crock pot. So we got our butternut squash, onion and apple all chopped up in the crock pot. I seasoned it with salt and pepper and the, if you have nutmeg, use nutmeg. I didn't, I'm using pumpkin pie spice which has some more spices and now I'm gonna add in 32 ounces of chicken broth or you can use vegetable broth. Now if you're doing this on the regular stove top, you're just gonna boil and simmer till everything is soft. Soft enough so you can mash it down or use an immersion blender. Um, like I said, I am doing this in the crock pot, so I am going to put it on low for six hours and I'll check it after that. So work your magic, crock pot. Here is the soup after it's all cooked down. The butternut squash is tender. And I am now going to use an immersion blender and blend this all together. My leader just mashes it down, but I like a smoother texture, so I'm going to use an immersion blender. All right, so the soup is all blended up. I am going to go ahead and take a taste test. So let's see. Mmm. That's actually really delicious. For zero smart points for one cup, you can't go wrong. Perfect for dinner on the side or a snack if you had a high point day. Perfect for a cold rainy day like today. I will link the recipe down below. Would love to hear if you make it and how you like it. And as always, stay fit and fabulous. Bye.